Hi guys, so today we're going to be checking out the 12 inch Commando Spawn. Um, so here he is. And not a whole lot going on in the packaging. Really nice shot on the back. Uh, nothing on the bottom. And then another nice shot on the side. So I'm going to open this guy up and we'll see what he looks like. Give me a sec. Alright, so let's look at this Spawn figure here. First of all, all right. So first up, let's look at the accessories. So you get this very large stand with Mortal Kombat on it. Um, don't plan on using this. I hope anyway. I'm hoping he stands. And then we get this plasma effect. Looks like it'd be two separate parts, but I don't think I can pull it apart, so it looks like it's just one piece. So it's got some pretty good detail on it. And then we have the gun, which decently sculpted, but definitely could use a wash and some detailing. And then let's look at Spawn himself. So, first up, we got the head. Uh, paint job, always pretty well spot on on these McFarlane figures. And then we got a skulls, some grenades, and some bullets that really could use some paint. Um, kind of feel like it does need the red in here. This guy may need to be a custom. Man, there's not a whole lot of paint on this guy. Then we got his belt. And some more bullets. His costume on this looks more like armor than what typically you see on Spawn. We got his... He's always got that larger boot than the other. Oh, there's a gun. Uh, it is one piece, so no taking the gun out. And then we got a solid cape. No moving that thing at all. That is pretty much it. So let's see articulation. So the head will swivel. This arm has no shoulder joint, that sucks. But we do have a joint there, the elbow and then a wrist so we can hold this plasma effect. And again, the other arm doesn't move. The hand swivels just a little bit and nothing at the elbow. Um, he's got a waist swivel. And then he's got a leg, nothing, or actually nothing at the legs on either side. This one's got a swivel on it. And that's it. No articulation really to speak of. He definitely leans back real far. Um, so let's get his effect in his hand. See how this looks. Yeah, I think with a little bit of work, you know, this guy could be pretty awesome. He's got a little tab here. I wonder if it tabs on anywhere. Um, you would assume it goes on the side of his leg, like right here. Would be a great spot. Okay, so he does hold the gun very well. He actually can get his finger in the trigger groove. Um, 
Yeah, I think he looks really good. I think uh, he would benefit from uh, a wash. Um, but since I'm going to be keeping that one in the box, uh, this one is definitely going to be a custom. I actually might just do a full paint job on this guy because I feel like he needs it. Let's see, let's line that up how it's supposed to be. I'll turn his head. So, he looks pretty good. I feel like he could do a lot with his base. Um, you know, get rid of the Mortal Kombat logo. Maybe put a Spawn logo on here with some other details. I wonder if I have... You know what? Let me just look at something real quick. So I have this little violator. Is that head too small? I mean, that might be a... Since it's dirty anyway. That might make a cool base. You know, if I cut him up, make him look like Spawn ripped him apart. Almost too small, but might work. I gotta grab that guy since he's only a couple bucks. But yeah, um, yeah, I really feel like this guy needs a full paint job. I hate all those gray straps on him. I feel like they should be a different color. That gun could use some work. I feel like if you had a little bit of detail on this thing, it would look pretty awesome. But, all in all, not bad. Not bad. Um, not really what I was expecting from McFarlane. It's, the detail's amazing. It's on there. It's solid. But the paint job just seems... Pretty lackluster for a $50 figure that doesn't move. Like, you didn't put articulation in. I feel like you could um, give us a little bit more paint. But, you know, it's one of the first 12-inch spawn figures we've had in a while. Uh, I can't even remember the last... The Wings of Redemption ones? That era? I don't think there's been one since, so... Um, just happy to get some new spawn products. Um... Yeah, I, I definitely would like this guy to stand out a little bit more on the shelf, so I think some bright red would look really good on him. Um, yeah, he definitely, uh, definitely could use some work, though. this cape removable at all it looks like it's glued in there and on there pretty good so it's gonna make it tougher to paint hmm Sorry, I'm just sitting here pondering how to uh, customize this guy. Um, one of the things I didn't like is the extra black around these eyes. I don't know if there's a way to get a lighting effect inside this thing. I bet I could drill a hole out of the center of this and put a light in there. And there's enough room in the base of this hand that you could drill out a um, button cell battery. 
and then maybe make it to where whenever it's actually sitting on his hand, the connections connect. Hmm. Anyway, I do like the do like it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I like that idea of put a button cell in there. And turning that into a light. How could I do that? Anyway, that's for me to figure out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.